Uh, conquest in the comments. <laughs> is it Celeste, what is it? Conquest in the <laughs> heavens or something. Chasing comments. <laughs> Cos comments in the cosmos. Detects. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. I think I do too much of anything. Can you? No. <laughs> 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 I'm Harry. And I'm Richard. And it's Dedex. <laughs> yeah. That was, that sounded weird. Yeah. I'm tired. Mm. It's been a long day. It sounds like a long day of stalking people from your van. <laughs> That's work too. This is Dead Dicks. <laughs> it all counts. Mm. How are y'all? Ah. Did you see I magically set down coffee and picked up bourbon? Yeah. Neat trick. Mm-hmm. Well, what the fuck we talking about today, Harry? Uh, conquest in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been able to remember the name of this bullshit all day long. <laughs> so we're talking about Celestial Combatants. Close enough. <clears throat> I know you ain't heard of it. Because, oh my God, the glare. Yeah. Because nobody's heard of it. Fucking lines in the middle? Yeah. Let's try another product. Better. There you go. Celestial combatants. So, uh, yeah, nobody's heard of that at all because I don't, we don't even know how much that shit was made, if barely any. I was watching a uh, YouTube channel, Subpixel. There's a guy named Will. Will, yep, Will. That's you, bud. Uh, <coughs> he had a video he did on Galactic Empires where he was talking about his mini rabbit hole CCG obsession. Galactic Empires is the big one he got into. But at one point in the video, he mentions the fact that he's splashing around in other CCGs and he shows a table. Just one picture. Uh, and I saw this thing sitting there. It's like, oh, what the fuck is that? Never seen that thing before. So I found them, got on their Discord, message Will, and he was nice enough to go, yeah, I don't know anything about it either, but here's the stream. Sent me a link to the stream where he opened it. So I at least got to see that. So one of the first things about this shit is there's this package says starter box. The other one says game box. I had no fucking idea what a game box was. But I could see from his video that it was a booster box. So uh, I went out and bought everything uh, <laughs> that they had. Uh, and uh, and now the proud owner of a few boxes of Celeste, what is it? Conquest in the <laughs> heavens or something. <laughs> Heavenly fighters. Chasing comments. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, I like chasing comments. Chasing comments. Yeah, that? that's pretty good. <clears throat> uh, so there's almost no information out there on this game at all. And even when I gobbled it all up, I wasn't even sure it would fit the any of the definitions of a CCG. Uh, but now that I've got my hands on it, I see that it does. So this is from 2003. It's from a company called Bunky Enterprises uh, out of Connecticut. Cunt etiquette. <laughs> Cunt etiquette. My, one, of, one of my favorite studies. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it's one of the few things I've ever seen that almost didn't get outside of its home state at all. Everything I've seen for sale, pretty much everything that company made is all still being sold by people out of cunt etiquette. Cunt etiquette. Uh, so pretty much every damn thing in the world you can think of is wrong with this game. Uh, there's almost no words on the packaging at all. What did you say there was, Harry? There's a something. At the bottom, it does have uh, copyright date and Bunky Enterprises. and. Oh, yeah. 2003 Bunky Enterprises. Patent pending. Patent pending. <laughs> I don't know why he patented this fucking shit. <laughs> and what are you patenting? Patenting ding ding. It's not already done. Did the name? I Somebody's going to steal your stupid name if I can remember. <clears throat> uh, Cos comments in the cosmos. <laughs> It changes every time. Yeah. I like it. Uh, so you can't even tell what the fuck this thing is other than company name. The cards are miscut terribly. You won't be able to see any I'm holding. <laughs> I'm not going to take pictures and put it up. Uh, nah, now. I don't think it's worth it. Nah. You can find it online if you hunt. There's at least one picture out there. But yeah, they're all miscut. They, even the back of the cards. You've almost never seen anything like it. It's a big black border running down the back. Uh... It's uh, the booster box has way too much air in it. Pick it up. Harry shook it around earlier. Fucking flying packs. It's really loose. Bang up your cards. Uh, <clears throat> the starter deck has one five card booster pack in it. That's your starter deck. <laughs> A couple of dice. And then this fucking genius. I'm going to show this. Uh, they may be the only people ever to fuck up a play mat like this. Put a 
So, <clears throat> how bad's the glare? Yeah. Yeah. Four person play, Matt. Every player is named Player One. You are fighting the fuck out of yourself with the conquest of the celestial, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Player One's all around for everybody. The back of this thing actually has a reference to one of the other problems. One of the many problems this game has. All of these blurbs of text and names. Well, that's every card in the set. Uh, there's 38 of them to be exact. So, a uh, 38 card set size. Which, we just did a box opening. Uh, who knows when we'll put that up. Yeah. It'll be before or after this. <laughs> What about, what if it's at the exact same time? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Break the world. Uh, I, I luckily got a complete set, just barely, from the one box. Because I just don't know if there's any more of this shit out there. I don't, who, you never know. Somebody find a fucking pallet and all of a sudden it'll be $5 on eBay. But uh, and right now it looks like that's not the case with this one. This is super indie, super obscure. And uh, I may own more than anybody else of this game. Who knows? <laughs> I might just be dumb enough to have done it. Mm. And the uh, world is envious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, the jealous. Jeal yeah, yeah, they're jealous. I, I don't know. I was trying to say something with titties in it. I don't know what expression with jealousy has to do with tits. Jelly, jiggly, titties. Got there in three words. Jealous your tits fell off. Uh, the other thing is the mechanics, they're almost fucking aren't any. Um, <laughs> there's, uh, there's three... Gameplay modes, if you don't count all the places where he says, another option could be you just mix it up. <laughs> Throw cards around in the fucking air. Uh, <clears throat> so what, the first gameplay option is like high card. It's called flip off. Uh, you, you literally, there's a number on the card and you turn a card over and the higher number wins. That's gameplay number one. <laughs> number two, combatants duel is the one where I think you uh, physically throw the cards in the air. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you, th you throw them in the air. You see what it lands on. If it lands on one of the side or the other, you get a point. I don't fucking know. Dumbest shit I've ever heard. The third, <laughs> the third and final is you're rolling dice. Let's see if one will show up a little. Oh yeah. You need to focus. It won't wrong. focus, but you can tell there's a card here. All this over here. It almost looks like abilities at first, but it's just words with numbers. Well, those numbers are ranges of the die. So, you're rolling between 0 and 100. And whatever you land on, that's how many damage you do, and that's it. Rolling dice, subtracting damage, whatever. Uh, some of the the thing that he says all throughout this rule book. <laughs> so, what I read about the playing surface sounds like it's straight out of the Wheel of Time, book mm -hmm. 10. Uh, a suitable playing surface may comprise a tabletop, the ground, a floor... Sheet of paper, vinyl, <laughs> cardboard, wood, plastic, or any material. Any combination thereof. You can have a wooden plastic vinyl surface and play on that. You may put some boxes on the surface too. It doesn't explain why you would want to fucking do that. Can you smear shit around and play on top of that? <laughs> I think you can. Hmm. I'm surprised it doesn't say that in here. Uh, one gameplay variant could be smearing cat shit all over it. Uh, where's that fucking phrase? And you take it to a brothel and play it on the naked ladies' bodies? <laughs> I like it. Another example of a variation in play would be to have any card that lands face down on top of another card that's face up would be deemed a prevailing card over that card. Yeah, that makes sense. A prevailing card. Uh, this would be considered being capped. The capped may be used as a method of breaking a tie. None of this fucking shit makes any sense. It's all ridiculous. And it's full of that, another thing you could do is possibly do this. Uh, and Richard I, could not be any more giddy in owning all of this. Oh, I'm, <laughs> yeah. Well, if you hear me talk mad shit about a game, that doesn't mean I'm not excited as fuck. Uh, there's a fine line there that only certain people would understand. Yeah, this thing is complete garbage, and I'm probably more excited about this than I have been on anything in months and months. <laughs> another variation of play involves using the means for altering play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's such a fucking great rule another book. way to play is to play differently <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a section in here I was telling Harry about where he, there's a reference to a booster card another variant of play involves the use of a means for altering play in this variation additional cards may be provided blah 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 an example of such a card is a booster card and then it describes what a booster card could do which would be a card with an actual ability uh, but then I've gathered from reading this that they don't exist 
There were no booster cards in this box. Cards that are just like a spell. They don't have such a thing. He's telling you you can make your fucking own cards to make this game more exciting. For example, a booster card could decrease the value of a roll of dice by 20. Uh, yeah. I've never seen a rule book that says, well, just make your own cards because yeah. we couldn't be fucking bothered. So anyway, uh, it's complete hot garbage that somebody knocked out on a weekend. Uh, the thing we were both shocked about is the art, the aesthetic is actually not that bad. Yeah. Uh, and the card stock is super thick. It's got that Arjun Saga thickness to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a real nice card stock. Uh, if you ignore the cut. But yeah, yeah the, the art and layout, that's not bad. Not, not really all that shitty at all. Especially compared to looking at the box. Because a lot of that art's on the box is on the cards, but it looks much better on the cards. So. Mm hmm It's an open box. It might not glare as bad. Not very impressive. It looks super generic. Yeah. But... Uh, so anyway, I think I meant, oh, I mentioned this is pretty much Connecticut or bust. Um, blah, blah, blah. What the fuck's that say? Bunky. Nope. Tick. <laughs> oh, ticks all the CCG boxes. I can't read my own fucking notes. I think I already mentioned that too. Yeah, this fits all the criteria. I mean, there's not a deck size, but you do have a deck. You are playing against another player. Randomized content. That's randomized content. It's a CCG. Just a fucking really terrible one. Yeah. 38 cards. <clears throat> 38 cards. Shooting set. for 40 and got tired. And one of your forms of gameplay can literally be we. <laughs> Throw it up in the fucking air. Yeah. So, this Bunky Enterprise is the company that made it. Uh, they did a few board games. Um, they did a, <clears throat> oh yeah, Magic Monsters and Swords. <laughs> uh, you know, the classic. Everybody's heard of that. Yeah. Don't go buy it, though. I'm going to go buy the only copy I see out there. Uh, and, uh, Oh, so I think the guy's name is Edmund Grass, I believe. So when you look up Bunky Enterprises, you'll see that there is an actual lawsuit against, uh, I guess you call it a lawsuit, took him to court, against Carta Monday. So <clears throat> Harry and I both agree there's no way that this fucking shit was made by Carta Monday. No. Uh, unless, you know, this was, uh, you said like the, the garbage division? Yeah, yeah, the garbage division in the shed and out the back, yeah. and they don't even put Carta Monday on it. They don't want you to know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering if later in years he was trying to get another game going. Maybe produce part of another game and it didn't happen. Because the lawsuit is from 2008, it appears. Uh, everything they've made is from 2003. Uh, so well, at least it's copyrighted 2003. I don't think that that's true. means that it was produced in 2003. Yeah, it wouldn't mean that, would it? Well, Normally yeah. those are close together, but right. in this case, who the fuck knows? But you know, a good example would be... Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, where the majority of their cards say 1996. Yeah. No matter when the fuck they came out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This Maybe that was these games. Yeah. I just I mean, I don't, it, it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't matter. No it doesn't change anything. <laughs> Other than shame on Card Monday if they they produce this. Unless they have a garbage division where they just stick all their <laughs> scrappy shit in paper and they're like, fuck, if you want to make a game, fuck, come on. We'll put it on this shitty ass paper we got left over. Our crank press. We got a guy over here that just rolls these cards out. <clears throat> uh, so the lawsuit, apparently it was about um, Bunky trying to say that uh, the distribution wasn't right. Randomization was fucked up. And the court determined that was not true. So uh, they did mention in there, and one of those records I found online about it, there was half a million cards printed. We did the math and we said it was less than 1,400 booster boxes. Yeah, assuming a full booster box size. Yeah. 36 by 15, so. Yeah, uh, so I, don't, I really would love to know which game that was. He was suing them about. It's one of these, but. Yeah, and if whichever game it was, did it make it, where did all that go? Yeah. Yeah, in the landfill. Very likely. The one uh, the one other game we're going to mention, that there was a Terminator 2, I guess it was a licensed game. The side of the booster box we found I mean, it's, it showed the copyright by whoever the fuck owns the copyright, so... Yeah. Yeah, they seem to be referencing the right folks. Yeah. Uh, how this company and this guy got a license to T2, one fuck. of the biggest fucking movie franchises ever. No idea. Uh, when did uh, when did Terminator 2 come out? 90... Late 90s? 90s, early 90s. Mm. 92? Well, it was a whole lot of years after the movie, but still. Yeah, yeah I still would think he'd, they'd have a hard time doing that. 
Uh, but I managed to dig up some of that. There's a little bit of that out there. Looks like it's mostly more a board game with cards maybe as a ancillary component. So, uh, fuck's sake, that's a lot of minutes for talking about this. It deserves it, though, because nobody else is going to talk about it. Yeah. Besides uh, Pixel People, uh, Pixel Me, Me Pixel. <laughs> Subpixel. <laughs> Subpixel, yeah, you got there. Got there. <clears throat> yeah, we appreciate you, Will. Thanks for hooking me up and giving me the info. You at least got me on the path. Yeah, sorry I butchered your name, bud. Yeah, all right, well, fuck's sake, yeah. 15 minutes is enough. How we do then? Yeah, good enough. Yeah, buddy, fuck, turn it shit off. Man.